So there was a scene in the movie that I wanted to talk to you about where they were discussing whether or not to allow the media in to see the actual test to make sure, like, because they didn't want to screw up in front of, you know, all these cameras and all these people. And what what I was curious about was whether or not you felt any of that when you were shooting with your cameras. Was, did you sense that anyone was nervous because you were in there? Did you sense that anybody changed their behavior because, you know, they were in front of a camera? Or did it feel like they you were very accepting to you and... And the camera. I was uh, pretty lucky in that regard. I mean, well, I'd say either lucky or just persistent enough um, that they eventually began to forget. They and actually, a lot of people thought I worked there by the end that I was there so long. And I think that's what really also distinguished us from other uh, people that were trying to film yeah, I mean, this. it helped that you had a PhD, too. So, so A, it helped that I had a PhD. B, it helped that I had worked on feature films that they heard of. And C, that I kept coming back. And, and we made allies early that were really critical. So, you know, Fabiola was not the spokesperson when I started. She moved into that position. Mike Lamont was not the head of beam operations at, at the LHC. He moved into that position. And we had, I had already established a certain trust. And, uh, you know, the fact that they saw me as a, you know, that I had, uh, could understand the physics and I was making a film, not just a, you know, a news clip, helped. I, I would say Fabiola, uh, did become more cautious when she became the spokesperson. I, I, you know, she started worrying about, uh, you know, how, she, you know, how she would come across or if she was going to reveal something. Um, and there was one instance I know where I went to just an Atlas Run Control meeting, and and the person who was the Run Control Coordinator at that point. Uh, Martin, he could care less. He had a mic on, and Fabiola saw me in the back and went up to him and, and, and I told him to take the mic off. Um, and and uh, the others, though, were not. They were, you know, very very open about what was going on. And they, I, I think they, I think I, I, because I had the physics background, they trusted me that they knew I was. On their side, in a sense, you know, they didn't. They didn't think, oh, he's going to be coming in here looking for a scandal. They knew that, you know, probably I was going to make them look as good as they possibly could. There's also a um, a factor in that is the the culture of CERN itself, which is uh, among those kind of uh, places more open. Uh, I mean, they they developed the World Wide Web there and just tossed it to the rest of the world. They don't patent things. They don't try to, you know, uh, grab hold of things. Uh, the dog in the manger is the la last thing that you feel when, when you're there. It's, it's uh, very much uh, kind of a, an open university of this particular subject. I, I also say the postscript with Fabiola is the one scene that I was, of course, the most worried about was when they were sitting at the table and Katie Erkovich, the press officer, is whispering to her about what they're going to do, and, and Fabiola is telling her, no, 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 you know, this could be a disaster, we can't do this. And I was actually quite concerned when Fabiola would first see it, and Fabiola was the last of our characters to see the film. She, you know, there was always a reason, but she didn't see it the first times it screened when everybody else saw it. And so she, the first time she saw it was at the premiere in uh, New York at the Film Forum. And afterwards, she came up to me and she said, Mark, I can't believe you, you captured that scene with me, with, your, with, with Katie, that's fantastic. And she says, but I don't understand because I took my mic off. And I said, yeah, but uh, Martin had his mic on and we were picking you up from that. And she thought that was great. 